The Ghana Public Service Union is a disappointed union this evening after repeated attempts to negotiate better remuneration for its members. Talks with the Permanent Secretary of the Public Service Ministry failed to address the issue. At a press briefing today, President of the GPSU, Patrick Yard, said that the last meeting, which was held on November 12th, was a total waste of time. He said that the union is of the opinion that the government is again preparing itself to hijack the negotiation process and once again unilaterally impose an unrealistic award on public servants. Because here it is, you're meeting in November and you're dealing with an issue that should have been, that was submitted since in 2009 and it is addressing remuneration for workers who are grossly underpaid. And whenever it is determined, it will have to be from the 1st of January. And here it is, you're in November, the 11th month of the year, and there is an absence of any urgency or any priority or any importance in dealing with the matter. The bottom line is at the conclusion of the meeting, the PSU considered it a total waste of time because nothing was offered, right? At the end of the meeting, we considered a total waste of time and to us it was a clear display of the deep-seated malice that was being um, demonstrated to the patriotism and hard working and grossly underpaid public servant. The union is of the opinion that the government again is preparing itself to hijack the negotiation process and to unilaterally impose unrealistic, an unrealistic award on the poor employed public servant. Over the past 17 years, the government has resorted to salary imposition rather than discussing the issue with the union. But the union is saying that they are willing to give the Donald Ramatar administration a fair chance to resolve the issue. Dealing with a rogue, you have been dealing with a rogue government. There's a change of government now. Okay? It's not been in office for years as yet. And I don't think we should bring the baggage from the last government and lump it on this one without justification. We are being patient and we are giving the leader of this government now an opportunity to do it right or accept the responsibility if it goes wrong. Okay? We have taken a conscious decision about that and that is one of the reasons too why we revisit our proposal even though it was reasonable and reduced it a bit as an act of good faith because there is a new leader of government and we would like to deal with the situation with an open mind, not go over with the baggage and the hurt and the anger that we felt with the previous head of administration. The GPSU is proposing a 25% increase across the board. The union said that they also want the government to review the traveling allowances of its members. Reporting for Capital News, Royston Drakes.